Hey everyone, a few months ago I got a new amp, a Marshall TSL100, modified by Voodoo Amps, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. As with my DSL100, this amp has Voodoo Amp Senus Mod. Even after all these years, I still love saying that. Now, even though these amps come from the same family, the JCM2000 line, they're two pretty different amps. They share some similar tonal characteristics, but each one's a different beast. Let's dive in. You'll see what I mean. Now, before I get started, I'm playing an LTD EC1000 from ESP Guitars. It's loaded with the Seymour Duncan JB59 pickup combo. I'm plugged straight into the amp, which is running into an old Marshall 412 cabinet loaded with WGS Veteran 30s and HM75s in an X pattern. The Veteran 30 is mic'd with a Sennheiser 421 and the 75 with a Shure SM57. It's a pretty common mic setup. Now, on most of the gigs I play, I spend a lot of time on the clean channel. This is an area where most marshals generally need some help. The folks of Voodoo have really come through. Check it out. DSL 100 on the clean channel, as you turn the gain up, it can get pretty distorted, kind of like an old plexi when you crank it up. Now on the TSL 100, even in the higher gain settings, it still stays pretty clean. Now this is nice because I can get a nice hot input signal without it getting too dirty. But if you engage the mid boost button, then you can get a little more break up and get it more in the tonal neighborhood of those old Marshall plexis. Next is the crunch channel. Now tonally, it's similar to the crunch channel on my DSL 100, but with a good deal more gain available. Right now I've got the gain set right about halfway. <laughs> got a nice focused sound for the tight low end response. Now if you crank up the gain just a little bit you can throw out some lead licks and it sounds killer. <laughs> So on that note, let's move to the lead channel. Now this channel is tonally similar to the crunch channel, but more focused for lead playing. Also, you got a lot more gain available. Now I generally keep the gain control on the lead channel set right about 12 o'clock. It's all the gain I need for the stuff I play on most of my gigs and I get plenty of tone and sustain. <laughs> If I really want to wank it out, I got plenty of gain on tap, probably more than I'll ever use. But it's better to have too much than not enough, right? Oh, my God. 
one of the biggest differences between the DSL and the TSL is in channel controls. On the DSL, the clean channel and the crunch channel both share a gain control, and this can sometimes be a tough balancing act. Also, both, both channels share tone controls, presence, and deep switch. The TSL has three discrete channels, each with its own gain and its own tone controls. Also, the clean and overdrive sections have their own presence control and their own deep switch. Now, each one also has its own reverb control, but I get my verb usually from a rack piece, so I don't use that. Each overdrive channel also has a mid-shift switch. Now, that's not really my cup of joe, but it might be exactly what you're looking for. I should also note that, as with my DSL-100, I've had the output transformer changed to a custom transformer by Mercury Magnetics. These are fairly often overlooked, but your transformers are a huge part of your tone. So there you have it, my latest tone beast from Voodoo Amps. Now, I can't say enough great things about Trace Davis and the rest of the crew at Voodoo Amps. They do amazing work. They bend over backwards to help you, and they're always an absolute pleasure to deal with. So this is my latest Voodoo piece, but it's definitely not my last. See ya.